So you've been playing the strongest battlegrounds for a little bit now, and you've come to the realization that you're not as good as you thought you were. You want to get better but you don't know how to do the crazy combos or move with finesse like the sweats can. Well, look no further, as in this simple, and no BS guide, I will teach you how to play. And smell like a sweat by the end of this video. Before we start this guide, you will need to have played the game and have a basic understanding of the combat and classes that are currently in the game as of the time of this video. This is a very important step in the guide, as having knowledge of these things will help you learn the things I will explain much faster. I also recommend you buy a private server for TSB, they are free and will help you practice without interruptions. Now that you have played the game a good amount, you should be familiar with side dashing. Side dashing is when you dash to your sides instead of straight ahead, allowing you to move swiftly but not as far and direct as you would when you dash straight ahead. This is why side dashing is a great move for combat, and why you see so many good people use it. If used correctly it can be unpredictable and unblockable, granting you the upper hand in any fight. Disregarding the first step, this is the most important step. Every single good fight involves side dashing, meaning it is impossible to become better if you don't learn this technique. In order to effectively learn side dashing, you will have to measure how far you can go to your side by side dashing normally. Once you got the distance down, you can start practicing making a L shape with your side dashes. By doing this, you will get accustomed to facing people's backs. Once you got the shape down, practice side dashing on the training, dummy. It will help you get accustomed to this movement easier and you will have a real target to do it on. Practice this move as much as you can, even in real combat, as the more you perfect it, the more unpredictable you will become. Now, the fact is that you will not be the only one side dashing in combat, which leads us to counter dashing. Counter dashing is a counter side dash to an opponent's side dash, essentially a punish which I will talk more about later. In order to effectively counter dash though, you must wait for your opponent to side dash if they haven't already, which will require you to predict. A big giveaway for an incoming side dash is an opponent turning their side towards you while moving at you. What follows next will most likely be a side dash, which allows you to block them and perform a counter dash. You can also get out of their side dash range if you feel you will not be able to counter, which is why knowing the side dash range will be beneficial to you. The truth of the strongest battlegrounds is that combos are everything, unless you're Genos. If your combo is not leading your opponent to the grave or at least near it, you might as well just hit the reset button. The reason that combos are everything in this game is because of how easy it actually is to combo, and how deadly these 99% of these combos are. You could throw out your 1, 2, 3, and 4 and it is a guarantee that your opponent will at least be at half health. But that's not what you want to hear, right? You want to learn the crazy sweat combos, right? Well, it's actually pretty easy. You just want to go on over to the YouTube search bar and type in the strongest battlegrounds combos, and these plenty fine people will give you the latest and greatest sweat combos. Hey, listen, I'm a sweat but take it from me when I say these guys are the true sweat lords, and will give you the ultimate combos that will turn you into a sweat overnight. The next important factor to becoming good is punishing your opponent. Remember when I told you that having knowledge about classes is the most important step? This is where you apply that knowledge to fight. Movement. This is the final piece you need to add to your move set if you want to become good. You ever wonder why you're brawling against this one person and you just can't figure them out? They're in your face one second and then probing from far back. This is because they are using movement to their advantage. Movement separates the passive from the aggressive, and the bad from the good. Movement in TSB is a definer for a player's fighting style, meaning there are plenty of ways that you could use movement in combat. You could use movement to be aggressive, never letting your opponent breathe and applying the pressure. Or, you could just sit back and hold block like a turtle. 
I'm not here to judge though. The main thing that you want to remember though is you don't want to walk up to your opponent in a brain-dead fashion. Instead, incorporate a sense of inconsistency in your movement, meaning your opponent will have to figure you out or be left in ambiguity, which is what you want. Remember, movement can be used offensively and defensively, meaning that your own movement can be used against you. If this happens, you are figured out and have lost your advantage. So, remember to add inconsistencies to your movement to prevent this from happening. Well, this is it. I have given you the forbidden secrets to becoming a sweat in the strongest battlegrounds. But, before you go I want to give you a final test. You see the top player in your lobby. I want you to go over to them and kill them. When all is said and done, stand over their body and say E, Z. Good job, you are now an official sweat. All jokes aside, I want to thank you for watching my tutorial on becoming good and staying this long in the video. If it has helped you, then feel free to like it. If not, comment down below and tell me what I could have added to this tutorial to make it better. Thank you again, and goodbye.